I'm hearing robbery suspects. I'm hearing reckless drivers. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to a new video. My name is, of course, Paul. Now, it's Wednesday night. I've been on for a while. What I've done, as you can see, we had dominoes. So, never mind. My wife's not here, it was just me and my brother-in-law, we had dominoes, it was good. So what I've been doing is, I've actually been working, as you can see I've got the iPad set up and the MacBook set up. The MacBook is currently on iMovie, ready to edit another video to go live tonight. And the iPad, all handled to us, as you can see. As I've been working on the website tonight, basically trying to get a few bits sorted out because I want to change it up now. I want to change up the website, make it look a bit more professional. I want to post my own stuff. So like when I do a video, I want to be able to put like a post out behind the video as well as having the video out and then put the Twitter post out etc. So that's what we're going to be pushing out early next year as well. As well as the fact that I'm going to be using the website a lot for the podcast stuff and also the merchandise stuff when that comes in. I'm actually also on Fiverr as you all know. I've been on there for quite a while. They've done a couple of things for me on there. You just put your work on there, what you want, and people will give you offers on what they can do for you. Um, I've put one up tonight to do logos for Orlando Taurus. So this logo, as you can see right now, will be changed as of next year. It will look so much different than this website. It'll look totally different. So also as well, I'm hoping to change the MacBook, which is what I haven't told you. So I'm looking at getting either the 13 or the 15 inch 2017 macbook pros with the touch bar buying final cut pro because the one that i've got won't work properly so i'm looking at buying final cut pro with the new macbooks but also as well as you've seen from the start of the video i'll be now is that i want to talk about my favorite piece of tech right now and it's so cheap it's so inexpensive you're going to find links for this product in the description down below this video. But as you've seen, how I've done that, basically the live police chase, was Facebook on my iPhone 10 and Chromecasted it to the TV from Facebook Live, which is what you can do with it. The Chromecast right now is my favourite piece of kit, favourite piece of tech, favourite piece of home tech. It's just so cheap, it's so inexpensive. I paid $35 for mine, bought it on me, plugged it into the USB, so one of the USB ports is taken up and goes into the HDMI port. So one of those is taken up as well. I mean, like this right now, let us spin the camera around. That right now is just showing pictures as like a screensaver from the Chromecast to give you the time and stuff like that. Who took the photo, what the pin number is for, the, it says bedroom on it. You know, we're going to get another one as well when we sort out. When we get sorted out with a house, you know, you're going, I'm going to have one for the bedroom. I'm going to have one in the living room, so, and then it'll go along with the Philips Hue bulbs that I'm going to get. I'm all be controlled through my phone. Now, if you want to pick up Chromecast for yourself, I'll leave one linked in the description box down below. At the very beginning, at the, as soon as you click on the description, it'll be right there waiting for you. If you click on that, it'll take you to an Amazon page. It's just an affiliate page for myself, you know, I make a little tiny bit of money off it and you don't pay any extra, so it's all good. So if you want to buy yourself a Chromecast, link in the description down below. The perfect Christmas stocking stuffer, believe me, people will love you for it. So also as well, what I want to discuss tonight is I was on my way home from work and there was a car that came through the lights behind me in the other lane. I was in the outside, they were in the inside. And there was a car in their lane, so they shot up behind me. We come down, it went into a 40 zone, but the road was absolutely packed. And we couldn't go nowhere. And as we were coming towards the end, you come towards a roundabout, which leads you onto the motorway. Now what happened there was the car started slowing down, and I seen him, he was too busy talking to his passenger. So what I'd done was, there was like a little cut in, thankfully. So I seen him getting a bit too close, so what I'd done was, rather than me him going into the back end of me and forcing me into the car in front, I moved into the cut in and he literally stopped pretty much like right near the rear quarter of where the car would have been if it had been stopped. So glad I'd done that and then next thing he took off into the, the inside lane again and just took off through the roundabout. I mean, just stuff like that right now, because of the accident, scares the life out of me. 
It really does. I mean, like, we were coming down the motorway tonight as well, they were doing the salt spreading for the grit, for the fact that it's going to be icy and stuff like that. We're meant to be in, like, minus temperatures tonight. It's just stuff like that makes me dead anxious, dead nervous. And then, uh, obviously, that, thankfully, I had that little pull-in area. I just pulled in, and he just, like, near enough. It would have went through the back end of me. So the car would have been done again. So also, as you know, we've bought the wax melts. So what I've done tonight was I decided, while I was in home and bargain, I bought the wife a set of gingerbread ones for the Christmas time, so the room will smell like gingerbread for a little bit. But obviously, as I said, I'm looking at getting some Philips Hue bulbs, I'm looking at doing some home tech in this bedroom while we're still here, and then when we're in the house or whatever, if we get an apartment, I'm going to be doing a whole thing in there. We're going to have Google Home Minis, we're going to have Philips Hue, the Chromecasts, all kinds of home stuff, ring doorbells, I'm looking forward to everything that we're going to be doing. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Also, this bag, the Manfrotto bag, what I'll do is I'll leave it linked again in the description for you. This is the ultimate Manfrotto bag, believe me. It's absolutely superb, it feels quality. You get the rain cover, there's loads of space in it, and it's me everyday carry at the minute. Right now I'm gonna crack on and get these vid get this video done, look at new themes for the website and try and get it built up a little bit now also as well i'm currently working on another video to go live either over the weekend or early next week on this this is the essential foam so you may remember i bought this in the states the unboxing and review from someone from the uk will be coming very soon then there's going to be a couple of what's on my phone videos what's in my bag video when we get to america so you'll be looking forward to them. Don't forget guys, Chromecast, my Frozo bag in the description down below if you want to check them out. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end today's video here. I'm just going to go and chill out. I'm going to go and relax, watch some YouTube videos, get these videos done and get this website up and running. Thanks very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Give this video a big thumbs up for me. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care everyone. See you all later.